Okay, my hope here is to make a grinder for sharpening uh, carbide. And I bought this plate. It was supposed to be a tilting table. But it turns out the guy that sold it to me wasn't quite... Uh, it showed it in the picture. I didn't catch it. The problem is this rib here, these are not the angle plates that go with this because this rib's in the way. And so it won't sit proper. So what I need to do is just machine this rib off so I can get that on there. Okay, before I put my tool in the spindle, I'm just going to make sure that the spindle's clean, which it is. Now I'm going to use this single flute, uh, actually it's a two flute uh, insert cutter. A two insert cutter. Now you can see here I've added some machinist jacks on both sides of this to give it a little more rigidity. Uh, I'm not worried about making this absolutely perfect flat within thousandths of an inch. I just want to get rid of this, this little rib here. The motor I'm using is a uh, geared head motor. Reversible direction. It takes a 12 microfarad capacitor. It's 115 volt, single phase. Draws a little less than an amp, 32 watts. Those two don't work out correctly. Um, if it's 0.85 amps, that's closer to... Uh, Oh, 90 watts or so, not 32, so I don't know why they get 32 watts. But anyway, neither here nor there. So what you need to figure out is um, where, where the coils are in this motor. The green wire we know is ground because that was tied to ground. So now we need to find out which is the common between the coils. So... We measure between black and white. Oops, here we go. If I can do this. Black and white, we get 20 ohms. Black and yellow, we get 20 ohms. And yellow and white should get 40 ohms. Yeah, close to it. So black is the common, and then these two are the coils. So You'd hook up one 10 volts to whichever way direction you want it to turn. And then your capacitor goes between the ends of the other two coils. So the capacitor goes between white and yellow. If you get your, your um, a motor like this off eBay, then um, you're in, the colors could be different. So that's basically how it works. In a nutshell, what you have is a, got your stator in here, then you have a coil like that, and you've got a coil like this, and then you got a wire off of there. So in here, this is black, 
this one's let's say white this one's yellow so if you go between here and here it'll turn one way if you go between here and here it'll turn the other way and you take your capacitor and you put it across there so then this here will go off to uh, 110, 120 volts. Okay, so I wired it up and uh, we'll give it a look here. So that's how fast it turns, which is plenty fast for a, uh, a diamond grinder. So that's why I chose this motor and uh, this project. Okay, so what I've done is I've mounted the motor in a regular 8x8 electrical enclosure. And then the idea is I'm going to make a, put a shaft on here to hold the, these discs. Oops. So this disc will go on the front. And then I'll mount this to a wooden board and I'll mount this on. So this is my idea of the adapter that will go on the shaft. Um, I have a half inch hole, one inch OD. I'm going to use this, uh, I've got a piece of stainless steel bar sitting around. Half inch thread on the end because these discs are half inch. This is going to be my backup disc. So this disc will slide on and then the uh, diamond discs and then a half inch nut this will be my nut on there so I want half inch threads okay I've made an adapter for the shaft coming off my motor and uh, it's got a set screw on that you it's over here anyway I've got a little issue and I'll show you and I think I know what the issue is um, let me just show you what's going on here Plug this thing in. Okay, it's got a little bit of a wobble left and right. And I believe that is caused by this shoulder in here. I did not um, use a square shanked tool so it's got a radius in here and I believe I'm hitting on it so I'm going to put this back in the lathe and see if I can't skim cut that down to here and get rid of that uh, radius or even undercut this Hey, here's what it looks like finished. I'm probably going to come up with a much better way to mount this thing so I can adjust it easier. It's kind of a pain in the butt right now. I have the table set for negative 5 degrees for grinding my inserts. And then turn it on. Got my switch up here. Got a little bit of torque in there. All right, so we turn it on. A little moisture and grind away. 